Whether you've left your job or you were let go, you've got a lot to figure out. How do you make the best use of this time and where do you even get started? Today, I'm going to walk you through creating a job search strategy to help you stay on track and motivated during this uncertain time in your life. Hello and welcome to Tuesday Talks. My name is Ashley Davis and I work in talent development with Workforce Solutions Rural Capital Area. Mindset is the key to success. Before jumping into your next position, it's important to give yourself some time to process your feelings. Leaving a job is difficult, whether it was your decision or not. Take the time to sort through the lessons and the experience that you're walking away with. If you immediately jump into a new position, you're not giving yourself enough time to work through any negative emotions or a burnout phase, and you risk carrying all of that into this new position. Another thing that you're going to want to take a look at is your budget. This will determine how intense your job search needs to be. And if you've built up some kind of emergency fund or safety net, then you give yourself the chance to build in some regen time, some downtime during your search so that you can practice good mental hygiene. The next step in creating your job search strategy is to define your employment goal. Ask yourself some questions and do some self-discovery to determine what exactly you're looking for in your next job. Some things to consider are first, your pay. What is the minimum salary that you can accept based on your budget? And what is your ideal salary? The next is schedule. Are you someone who needs the eight to five Monday through Friday? Or are you a night owl? Do you need to account for childcare? Do you need a flexible schedule or do you prefer a permanent one? Work schedule is a massive component to maintaining a healthy work-life balance and your overall engagement in a job. And finally, you're going to want to consider your ideal job duties. What type of work gives you energy and what drains it? If you think back to your last few years of work, what types of tasks did you enjoy the most? and what did you want to avoid at all costs? I know that your primary focus is finding a job, but if you jump into just any job, you're gonna regret it. Avoid this situation entirely by clearly defining the type of work that you want and applying to those positions who have the descriptions that seem to fit that. We all have a junk drawer in our kitchen that we avoid opening at all costs. I bet that most of you have the job search equivalent of a junk drawer. Things that you don't open or look at unless you absolutely need to. Things like your LinkedIn profile, Indeed profile, and work in Texas. Your master resume or a cover letter template. You get the idea. Things that you don't look at until it's time to search for work and you have to dust off frantically. The next step in creating your job search strategy is to tidy up that job junk drawer. Make sure these things are up to date and ready to go so that you can be as effective as possible in your job search. These things include updating your resume, update it with your most recent work experience, and make sure that that resume is ATS friendly. If you don't know how to do this or you don't know what an ATS system is, you can head on over to last week's Tuesday Talks episode where I cover this in depth. Next, you're going to want to do some sprucing up of your online profiles. Update your LinkedIn, Indeed, or Work in Texas profile. Reach out to your former coworkers and ask for endorsements on your skills listed on LinkedIn. Review your social media profiles and see if anything needs to be removed because potential employers will be looking. And another big thing that's in that job junk drawer that needs your attention is setting up your personal references. Contact those people that you want to use as personal references. These shouldn't be family members or your best friend. You should reach out to people that you've worked either for or with that would be open to being contacted by potential employers. You should never put someone down as a reference without asking them if they are willing first. 
get a list of about five solid references that you can provide when they're requested. So now that you're in a good headspace, you know what type of job you're looking for, and you have your tools all set up, it's time to create a schedule to help you stay on track and focused in your job search. Without the structure of a work schedule, it can be far too easy to lose track of time and have nothing to show for it at the end of the day. Remember that the goal in having a job search strategy is to be intentional in your job search and maximize your effectiveness. Part of that is to have a game plan on how you'll spend your time each day. I know it may seem that being out of work you have more downtime, but in reality, when you're searching for work, you should be just as busy as you were when you were employed. Here are some things to keep in mind when you're creating your weekly schedule while job searching. Some things to keep in mind when you're creating your job search strategy are first, maintaining your sleep schedule as best you can. Stay as close to that eight to five schedule because it can be really hard to adapt back to that if you've allowed yourself to get accustomed to staying up late and sleeping in. Plus, this is the time that hiring managers and recruiters are going to be online looking for candidates. So now we're going to pull it all together and put all of those pieces of your job search strategy to paper. We're going to build out a framework for your day-to-day -day schedule during the week. I recommend either drawing out a weekly schedule on paper or creating one on the computer for this exercise. Draw your five columns, label them Monday through Friday, and create rows for each hour in the eight to five time frame. This is a great way to stay motivated and productive during a time that can be hard to do so. You'll want to plot out what you want to work on during the day and for how long you want to work on them. You know that during the week, you'll need to search for jobs, apply to them, and prep for interviews. For example, what percentage of time do you want to devote to actively applying to positions? This means tailoring your resume and writing up your cover letter. These tasks can be a pretty big time investment, so I recommend keeping that in mind when you're blocking your time for the week. Be kind to yourself, because if you carve out too much time for this hefty task, you run the risk of burning out early on. Other things that you will need to add into your schedule outline could be the percent of time that you spend researching potential employers and when you want to do that each week. You'll need to do the same thing for following up on any contacts for LinkedIn or responses to your applications in your email. And finally, when you want to fit in personal development tasks. So if you wanted to learn a new skill while you were looking for work, you can build that into your weekly outline. Once you have everything plotted out on your schedule, hang this up on your fridge or home office. Save it as your desktop background. Just keep it in some place that you're regularly seeing it and holding yourself accountable to the schedule that you designed. To ensure that your strategy is working, regularly evaluate it. Is this schedule the best use of your time and energy? Do you need to adjust your time blocks to devote more time to a particular task? This schedule is not written in stone. It's a living thing that's been created to make your life easier and your job search targeted. It might be a good idea to ask yourself at the end of each week, what worked for me? What did not work very well? Did I become disengaged in my search early in the week? How can I increase my effectiveness next week? Based on your answers to these check-in questions each week, you can adapt your schedule to fit you best. Hopefully this gave you a better idea of what we mean when we say your job search strategy. You understand now how all of these components fit together and how having a very clear plan can drastically reduce the time that you're spending between jobs. Remember that we have free career workshops on resumes, cover letters, and more. Check out our events page at WorkforceSolutionsRCA.com to learn more and sign up. Thank you so much for joining me today. Good luck in your job search, and I'll see you next week.